Pregnant women with a short cervix, 25 millimeters or less, have an increased risk of premature delivery, which is associated with neonatal morbidity and mortality. To help prevent preterm birth in these women, a pessary is often inserted transvaginally and positioned around the cervix. The theory is that the pessary supports the cervix and reduces direct pressure on the cervical canal from the developing fetus. But the evidence for this is mixed. In a multicenter study across nine countries, 935 women who were in their 20th to 24th weeks of gestation with a singleton pregnancy and who had a cervical length of 25 millimeters or less were randomized to either pessary placement or expectant management. Both groups had obstetrical visits every four weeks until 34 weeks gestation for cervical length measurements and monitoring of vaginal symptoms. Patients with a cervical length of 15 millimeters or less received transvaginal progesterone. If the cervical length was 10 millimeters or less after 26 weeks, the patients were also given glucocorticoids for fetal lung maturation. Patients with vaginal infections were treated with antibiotics. There was no significant difference in the primary outcome of spontaneous delivery before 34 weeks gestation between those who received a pessary and those who received expectant management. The rates of perinatal death, adverse neonatal events, and neonatal special care also did not differ significantly between the groups. In addition, there were no significant differences in rates of vaginal infections, although in the pessary group there were higher rates of vaginal discharge and pelvic discomfort. The authors conclude that in women with singleton pregnancies and a cervical length of 25 millimeters or less, pessary placement at 20 to 24 weeks gestation, as compared with expectant management, did not reduce the rate of spontaneous preterm birth. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.